Namaskaram students. Today we are discuss about the transmission across a potential barrier for the tunnel effect. So the definition of the according to the quantum mechanics, the transmission probability has a small but definite value. So this behavior is called the tunnel effect. So what is the tunnel effect? So there is the definitions of the quantum mechanics the according to the quantum mechanics the transmission probability has the small but definite value okay so the what is the transmission of the probability the transmission probability is defined as the square of the ratio between the there is the transmitted and also incoming probability incoming probability amplitude so the transition probability can be derived from the Schrodinger wave equation already we know what is the Schrodinger wave equations so first of all we are considering for a yeah, rectangular potential barrier of the height is the v naught and width is the a for a particle is shown there is the figure so it extends the over of the region 2 from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a in which the potential energy v of the particle is will be the constant is equal to the v naught so on both side of the region 1 and also region 3 v is equal to 0 so this means that when the particle is in these regions there is no forces is acting on it no forces of the acting on it so that the, the condition is simply rewritten the region 2 is from there is x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a and v will be the constant equal to the v naught so region 1 and region 3 v naught the v is equal to 0 so there is no forcing acting on it so let us we are considering for the three wave equation functions for the motions of the particle in the region 1 2 and also 3 respectively so a region 1 region 2 region 3 the wave functions are the psi 1 of x psi 2 of x and also psi 3 of x so we are finding for the first region the conditions are the minus infinity is less than for the x is less than for the 0 so there is a timed independent Schrodinger wave equation is minus h cross square divided by 2m d square psi 1 divided by dx square that is equal to e psi 1 so interchanging these equations there is 2m e divided by h cross square psi 1 that is equal to 0 so there is k square into psi that is equal to 0 that is equation number 1 so where k is equal to root of 2m e divided by h cross square case 1 when e is less than for the v naught so the region we are finding what the second region the second region is the this region this region finding out the the conditions are the 0 a okay so 0 is less than or equal to x direction is less than or equal to a so if there is e is less than v naught then the equation is d square psi 2 divided by dx square plus 2m divided by h cross square into e minus v naught into x psi 2 that is equal to 0. So we are rearranging for this equation. So the sign is interchanges that is a positive so interchange to the negative and also v naught minus v into psi 2 that is equal to 0. So d square psi 2 divided by dx square minus beta okay this term is this term is produce the beta beta square into psi 2 that is equal to 0 that is equation number 2. So where beta is equal to root of 2m into v naught minus e divided by h cross square then we are founding for the next level there is the um, uh, third regions third region uh, um, third region so a is less than x is less than is less than or equal to less than or equal to x yeah, less than infinity so we are finding for the third region that is a 0 to a so 0 this is a so we are finding for the only this region okay so first of all a is, is the x and also is the infinity so a is less than or equal to x is less than or is equal to infinity so the equations of the d square psi 3 divided by dx square plus 2 m e divided by h cross square psi 3 that is equal to 0 so r there is k square into psi 3 that is equal to 0 that is equation number 3 so equation number 1 is the region 1 and equation number 2 is the region 2 and also equation 3 is the region 
3. So, these 3 equations of the general equation is psi 1, psi 2, psi 3. So, psi 1 is the a e power i k x plus b e power minus i k x that is equation number 4 and psi 2 that is equal to c e power beta x my plus uh, d e power minus beta x that is equation number 5 and also third that is a psi 3 is the third regions of the general solution is the so we are directed to him. Okay, so to, to here, so g e power i k x plus h e power minus i k x into x. This is the equation number 6. So, these equations are the general solution of equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. What is the first 2 and 3 equations? That is the regions of the 1, 2, 3. Okay, next. Since that is the so, so they, they, we are taking for the equation number 6, that is the h. So, h is equal to 0. There is no forces acting on it. Okay. So, no particle is coming from the right in the regions of the third. So, we must have h equal to 0. So, we are considering for the h equal to 0. The h term is the reduced. So, we will get, we will get the psi 3 is equal to g e power i k x. That is equation number 6. Okay. So, then the general solution of equations 4, 5, 6 are the interpretations of terms of the, the solution. These are the solutions. So, the, what are the solutions? That is the first term is the equations 4. Okay. We are taking what the equations 4. Equation 4 is the, the region 1. Okay. The region 1 of the, there is a general solutions. Okay. So, general, um, general solutions. So, first term, there is a, uh, equation 4. There is a first term is the a e power i k x is wave, wave amplitude uh, traveling in the positive of the x direction but there is a b e power minus kx is the the amplitude is the b reflected in the negative x direction from the potential barrier okay so this is the traveling and also second term is the reflecting so the second there is the equation number 5 is representing there is a d e power minus beta x is the exponentially decreasing in the wave functions and also is represent the non oxyelectric disturbances which may which moves through a barrier in the positive of the x direction okay so exponential is a decreasing so as it, uh, so wave function is represent there is the either now which moves is through the barrier in the positive of the x direction so there is the, the equation for the second term the first term this is the second term and this is the first term is the c e power beta x is the reflected disturbances okay there is a non accelerator for the d e power minus beta x disturbances there is a c e power beta x is the reflected disturbances which move, which moves through a barrier okay which moves through a barrier it is the exponentially it is a decreasing of the wave function so then equation 6 is represent the that there is one is there is a uh, no forces acting on it so okay so there is the uh, transmitted wave in the regions of the three so this waves is travel in the positive of the x direction so applying these conditions of the psi and is a derivation deri deri derivatives are the continuous of the there is the region x equal to 0 to x equal to a. So, we get the following equations are the some a plus b that is equal to c plus d is equation number 7 and a i k minus b i k that is equal to z beta minus d beta that is equation number 8. Okay. So, then the c e power beta a plus d e power minus beta a that is equal to g e power i k a that is equation number number 9 and also this is the equation number 10 okay so solving these equations of a, a in terms of g and p in terms of the g okay a in terms of b g and also b in terms of the g so we, we will get the equation number a and also equation number b so equation number a is the the cos h beta a plus i divided by 2 into beta divided by k minus k divided by beta into sin h beta a into g e power i k in terms of the g then beta e b equations is the in terms of g so there is the minus i divided by 2 in the beta divided by k plus k divided by beta in the sin h beta a g e power i k a that is equation number 11 and also 12 okay then we are finding that what is the reflections coefficient and also transmission coefficients so we are finding what the two coefficients one is the reflection and another one is the transmissions so reflection coefficients is the r is given by the b b star divided by a a star so this equations and r is equal to 
this equation. That is a v naught is square divided by eight four e v naught minus e and the sine h square beta a divided by one plus v naught square divided by four e v naught minus e and the sine h square divided by beta a. That is equation number thirteen. Okay. So this equation is represent the reflections of coefficient that is denoted the capital R. Okay. Then we are considering for the we are finding for the the transmission coefficient. The transmission coefficient is denoted the capital T is given by the one by T that is a a star divided by g g star. Okay, so T is equal to one divided by one plus v naught square divided by four e into v naught minus e into sine h square beta into e. That is equation number fourteen. Okay, so equation thirteen is represent the transmission coefficients of capital R and equation fourteen is represent the uh, transmission sorry reflections coefficient and equations uh, 14 is represent the transmission coefficients of the capital t then so from equation 13 and also 14 it is seen that that is r plus t is equal to 1 okay so in this case of there is a e is less than of the v not the expression for t is leads to the following of the conclusion so the conclusions of the t in the, in the expressions of these these conclusions these are the conclusions of the t so the transmission coefficient is t the transmission coefficient is t denoted the t so t is zero if e is also zero okay so t is equal to zero there is a if is e is also zero for the finite value there is a less than one for incident beam of the particle having the initial kinetic energy this is the first conclusion then the first conclusion Then the tunnel through a there is a tunnel of the through the potential barrier of the height is v not even when it is the initial kinetic energy is the less than of the v not there is a potential energy is more greater than for the kinetic energy in the initial of the height of the potential of the barrier. So the second conclusion is the if the energy e is increases there is a v not minus e is the decreases. So and also beta is also decreases. Okay, so the energy of e is e v is decreases v not minus e is equal to decreases. There is the the decreases is moves rapidly for the e v not minus e. In the what there is the value of the width of the potential barrier. Okay, so then therefore so overall conclusions therefore the t is in Increases is steadily with e. Okay, the t is increases. That is what is the t? T is the transmission coefficient is increases. That is a steadily with. With the uh, with e, the third conclusions are the if the width of the potential barrier is increased, sine h square beta e is also increases rapidly. Okay, so whenever there is the width is increases and then then more rapidly through the the sine square sine h square beta e is also increases and so how. What is the t? So t is also decrease decreases rapidly. Okay, d t is also decreases of the rapidly. So these are the conclusions of the transmission coefficients. Then we are considering for the the tunnel effect provides explanations for the following phenomena. So the field of emissions of electrons from a hole. Metallic surface. This is the explanations of the tunnel effect of the provides. Then second one is the the electrical breakdown of the insulators. Then third one is the reverse breakdown of the semiconductor diodes. Of then there is the provides the explanations. The, these are the explanation of the proofs uh, provides of the tunnel effect. The switching case action on the tunnel effect and all the tunnel diode and also the last one is the the emissions of a alpha particle from a radioactive element okay so these are these are these, these points are representing the tunnel effect so provides the explanation for the phenomena okay so finish it thank you